the three new criminal laws that is the bhartiya nyay sahita the bhartiya nagrik suraksha sahita and the bhartiya saksh adhiniyam are operational from today and here is a very quick guide on the five major changes that these laws try to bring to our criminal code but before that let me just take a minute here to appeal to you uh this is an appeal for you to take our subscription as i've told you several times before uh, it is your support that we need to continue doing the sort of um, non hyphenated questioning and fair journalism that we've been doing so far there's a lot of benefits uh, for taking the subscription as well as for the procedure you can see it on your screens right now and i'm going to add all the relevant links um, to make the process very simple for you to the description of this video so do consider taking a subscription of the print and supporting the sort of journalism that we bring for you now first is that sedition is back and tougher in may 2022 the supreme court had temporarily suspended the sedition law mentioned in the indian penal code while the new bill that is bns does not use the word sedition it does add a new provision which penalizes acts endangering sovereignty unity and integrity of india this is section 152 it provides for a punishment of 7 year jail term or life imprisonment for anybody who excites or attempts to excite secession or armed rebellion or subversive activities or encourages feelings of separatist activities or endangers sovereignty or unity and integrity of india now this can be done through spoken or written words or by signs or by vis visible representation or by electronic communication or even by use of financial means so in it in a sense it has therefore retained the concept of sedition with a with an even more broader and vague definition Secondly terrorism in the criminal code now what has left jurists astounded is the absorption of special offenses that are currently governed by special laws such as unlawful activities prevention act 1967 dealing with terrorism and the maharashtra control of organized crime act of 1999 in bns as ordinary crime so for example uh section 113 talks about terrorist acts despite the fact that uap already mentions the definition of terrorist acts and deals with it however section 113 lacks the procedural safeguards that exist in uap to prevent fabrication of cases for example uap requires government sanction to prosecute an accused The new law also gives the police unbridled power to decide whether to proceed under the UAP or section 113 of the BNS such enormous discretionary authority to a superintendent of police level officers could embolden the law enforcement agencies to invoke the new statute in order to bypass the little safeguards that the special law UAP contains third is on police custody now following an arrest a person is either remanded to police custody or judicial custody until the investigation is complete during police custody the accused is made to stay in a police station or a lockup and judicial custody uh, in a judicial custody accused is kept in a central or state prison and is uh, in detention by a judicial magistrate So depending upon the nature of the offense which has been allegedly committed the police have either 60 or 90 days to complete its investigation according to the current legal framework in the first 15 days of detention the custody can be changed from police to judicial and vice versa it can also be intermittent however the supreme court has ruled in a few cases that police custody can be authorized only in the first 15 days after production before the magistrate even if the accused is unavailable for inter interrogation for some days in this period the court had asserted that this was done to protect the accused from the methods which may be adopted by some overzealous and unscrupulous police officers however a few other supreme court benches have disagreed but the new law essentially allows for detention and police custody for 15 days in whole or in parts at any time in the first 40 or 60 days out of the 60 or 90 days period which is the timeline fixed to complete investigation essentially this means that the window or period to seek police custody is no longer limited to the first 15 days of the arrest and it can be taken in later stages of the probe as well making the accused more vulnerable to police excesses in such an arrangement the chances of an accused getting bail will also be bleak because courts are more receptive to releasing a person during judicial custody now with the possibility of the accused being sent to police custody at any point during the investigation during those periods that i just mentioned which are longer periods courts would be reluctant in granting bail until the probe concludes 
Fourth point is on digital evidence. Now, the three laws have been reworked with the clear objective of digitizing most aspects of uh, the criminal justice system or criminal procedure. So technology has been involved in collecting evidence as well as in other stages of the uh, criminal justice system from allowing summons to be issued electronically to virtually presenting testimonies from witnesses, experts, accused and other parties. However, in the absence of any procedure to ensure security or maintenance of a proper chain of custody for such digital evidence and adequate safeguards, experts have questioned the free hand given to the enforcement agencies to acquire such information, acquire and retain such information. Concerns have been raised over tampering, leaks, as well as breach, particularly because digital evidence would now be treated as primary and not secondary evidence. This would legitimize and encourage infringement of privacy by the executive. This is what experts have warned. And the fifth and the final change, major change that these laws are going to bring in is that community service has been introduced as a punishment for the first time ever. That's all I have for you today. This is Apoorva Mandhani for The Print. For more such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.